Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to customize the built-in form using just the web browser. As you see, the built-in form is customizable with InfoPath. I've showed you that in previous demos. But you can do a bit of customization also in just the web browser. If you go in here under the form web parts, you'll see that there are three links here. Default new form, default display form, and just default edit form. And that corresponds to the three forms that pop up when you create a new item, when you open an existing item, or when you open an existing item in edit mode. Regretfully, you cannot modify this in any way at all inside here uh, without coding. If you want to do some coding, which is not part of this course, but we'll have some links on how it's done, then this is the key to it, the JS link. You can create your own JavaScript file that modifies the display and the content of this form. So that's really, really powerful. But what we're going to do now is the no code solution. I'm going to add a web part up here. So this is a web part page. So you can add any web part up here. The most flexible one is here under media and content, the content editor that used to be the go-to tool for everything in previous versions of SharePoint. So here you can just click here to add new content and then add everything you can add in the content editor, which is a lot. You can add tables, you can add pictures, you can add video, other web parts, of course. You can also embed code in here. So there, there's a lot of things you can do. In this case, I'm just going to add a link to instructions. Like that, ticket entry instructions, and I'm going to insert a link to that from address. And I'm just going to add a link to my site there, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. The one thing I need to be, be careful here with, with this web part is make sure that it, it has the Chrome type none. By default, it is default. And that shows the content editor heading there, which I don't want. So now I'll just stop editing. And now when I create a new item, you'll notice that this little link here is displayed on top of every new ticket. So if I just create a new task there, save that. Now if I open it, of course, then I'll be opening it in the display form. And this link is not displayed, just when I create new forms, which of course opens the new form ASPX page, which I just edited. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how to modify the SharePoint form using just the web browser. Thank you for watching.